Hi, I'm Jerry Brock, and on this issue of Achievement Update, we're going to talk about five ways that you can build profitable business relationships, because that's what's really all about in business. It's not the administration. It's not a matter of uh, getting all the things done that we think need to be done, all the administrivia. It's focusing on building profitable business relationships. And one of the first things you want to do is get attention. That's really critical in today's world. Here we are in Panama, and so much is going on, as you can see with all the construction, all the things that are happening in this wonderful city, and it's much like the rest of the world. We see that there's so many things happening. Our attention is being diverted many different areas. We can't pay attention to everything. So you as a marketer have to figure out ways to capture that valuable attention from your customers, those buyers, the people that are paying your paychecks. And that was where you've got to get their attention. The way to do that, well, it's tough because they've got so much, but if you stand out in a favorable way, listening to where their pain is and how you can solve their problems, you'll always have a good job. You'll always be paid well if you know how to solve their problems. And the more you can do that, the better off you'll be. A second point is you want to build trust. As you build trust with people, then they're more willing to do business with you. And it's like a ladder. You start at one level and you gradually build. The trick is, though, you cannot get something called trust very quickly. It takes time. It takes consistent, good performance and quality. If you do that, though, you're going to win out over the competition. And price becomes a secondary or a tertiary factor. People don't care as much about price when they know they can trust you. And if they can't trust you, it doesn't matter how much good your price is and how much better you are, they're probably not going to deal with it very much in long-term relationships. And a third point is you want to be able to listen actively. Now this is a rare treat in today's world. Too many people just want to tell their own story. They interrupt a lot. Have you noticed that? I just remember the other day I was talking to someone and it was like all she wanted to do was interrupt. I would start talking and then boom, interrupt again and again. And after a while it became really annoying and you just wanted to say, okay, thank you very much and hang up. However, this is something that's really a skill to learn and it's something that you can use as a competitive advantage. And a listen actively and be sure and ask questions that go beyond just the how are you, how long you've been here, etc. like that. What you might want to do, think about things like this. What got you started in this industry in the first place? Or since in the number of years that you've been here with XYZ Company, what lessons have you learned about this industry? See, those kind of open-ended questions tell you a lot more about the way the person thinks and a lot more about what really matters to them. And then, after you've asked that, listen actively. And a fourth point that's very important is you want to provide real value. And this is value as it's defined by the buyer. Not just what you might think, hey, this is really nifty and groovy. No, no, no. What counts is what they consider valuable. And often, here's the beauty of it, what is really valuable to them might not cost you much of anything or nothing. It might take some time. It might take some careful planning. But think it through how you can provide that value. Often I find that happens in seminars that I'll offer, that sometimes they can't afford a budget, but what we can do is say, look, we'll do it for this if you'll do these things. And so we put it all together and make it happen that way. Be creative and come up with new alternative ways that you can provide serious value to your buyers. And finally, point number five. Very important to do the proper follow-up. That means you follow up on what's going on and what really happened. Yes, we delegate. Thank you, Peter Drucker. We've learned about delegation, and it's very important to do that. But doesn't, that doesn't mean that you give up once you've turned it over to someone else. No, you follow up. And a quick way to do that is just an email saying, gee, how are things going on that Johnson account? What's happening with that one? Is it coming along well, et cetera? And following up and making sure that it's going along is very good. And following up with the Joneses when you've checked on the Jones account is going to be very important. You want to do these kind of things. All five of these principles can help you to build those solid business relationships, which are most important. And if you're interested in building those relationships in business, really enhancing your business, taking it to the next level, 
we've got a program designed for you called the online coaching program that lets you do those kind of things. I work with people around the world showing them specifically what needs to be done in their marketing, their technology, and it's designed so that it's extremely affordable and all you have to do is just click on the little button here on the website at www.terrybrock.com and you'll be able to see how it works, what can be done, and what your investment will be. Very, very reasonable. I'm Terry Brock, and from here in Panama, I wish you a very, very prosperous business, and I wish you much success as you build those important business relationships. So long from Panama.